are the first. The first to see the gods. The first to tame their beasts. The first to guard the soul from evil. We conquered this land and built an empire. But there are whispers on the wind. A brotherhood born in the shadows. They are the first to call themselves the Assassins. Available October 27th. Pre-order now and get a bonus mission, Secrets of the First Pyramids. All right, well, joining us now to dive deeper into the game you just saw, Assassin's Creed Origins, is Ubisoft Montreal producer Julien Laferre. Yes, you got it right, thank you. I'm, I'm Canadian, although not French Canadian. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's talk a bit about uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. We got to uh, see it uh, yesterday at Xbox, see it again today. Uh, you know, this was obviously a, a unique situation for Assassin's Creed in that you guys got to take a year off from the franchise and come back even stronger this year. So that break, what did that allow the team to do that normally you wouldn't have had time to do on Assassin's Creed? So we, uh, we started off the game right after Black Flag, so yeah. three and a half years ago. Wow. So it's the same uh, core team from uh, AC Black Flag. Yeah. And uh, we, we knew we had some time in front of us, so, uh, and we knew we wanted to do Egypt and we wanted to do the full country, right? So we had to do Egypt the right way. Um, so we reworked all the major mechanics of the game, starting with the fight systems. We have a new fight yeah. system that reacts really smoothly to players. Uh, we reworked the navigation system as well from the ground up. And we have a new progression system with RPG elements that we're really happy with. So really the goal is to customize your own Assassin's Creed experience within this vast open world. Well, now tell us about the setting. Um, and timeline, because that's always something with assassins. Yes. That people are wondering, you know, what time period are you going to go? Everyone has an opinion. Um, like I remember back, I think it was Assassin's Creed II Brotherhood or something. There was that hall where there were kind of like the eight assassins, and I was like, oh, they could go to, you know, go to you know medieval times. They could go to, you know, Japan. And so this origin setting, um, why was this the one that you guys wanted to pursue for this game? We, um, we wanted to do ancient Egypt for, for a long time, yeah. and we know it's a fan favorite as well, and there's yeah. many speculations on the internet, so uh, we wanted to do it right. Um, and what's great about ancient Egypt is that it's a, it's a civilization that has a very long history, so within 3,000 years of history, we had to pick the right moment. Yeah. So we picked uh, 49 BCE mm -hmm. with the rise of Cleopatra on her throne, and it's a pivotal moment in the, uh, the history of the Egyptian people. Mm -hmm. They transition from uh, old traditions to like a new world order, which is the perfect setting for Assassin's Creed. And for us, for our lore, uh, it's the opportunity to tell also the story, the, the origin story of the foundation of the Brotherhood. So we're really happy about it. Really, so the origin story of the Brotherhood. We'll yes. We'll understand that for the first time. Exactly. So player was get to witness mm -hmm. all the assassin actually joining together to form the tenants mm -hmm. and the methods of operation that form the Brotherhood that you've discovered in the previous game. So that's pretty cool. Awesome. Now, I still need to read the Game Informer cover story that came out because I've been a little busy the past couple of days. <laughs> but, so I, I, I may, these answers may be out there, but uh, what can you tell us about Abstergo and kind of modern day elements in this game? Will we see anything? Unfortunately, I can't talk about anything related to present day today. Okay. Uh, we, there's many months left in the campaign, and we'll get the opportunity to tell more of that later on. Can you even confirm if there will be present day? Cannot even confirm that today. Okay, I'm so all sorry. we're seeing is a game sort of set Ex exactly. in, uh, in ancient Egypt. Exactly. Uh, now, tell us about the, the gameplay, because we obviously know it's a new setting. You know, 
obviously, a t look at this. I mean, a ton of sort of options, uh, details with the, the core combat or gameplay. Yes. Um, you know, it's been evolving, um, but you know, the traversal and everything has been sort of a you know a key tenant of Assassins for. Oh, I, I feel the first Assassins was what was it a decade ago? How it was, was ten years ago. Ten actually, years ago? yes. Ten years ago this year. Yes. Wow. I was going to say, I thought it was around here. So in those 10 years, you know, gameplay has changed. How is the, the, the combat, how is it going to feel different this time around? Did you change it at all because you had more time to sort of go back and take things back to first principles? So what we, we wanted to do is give as much freedom as we could to the player. So that's why yeah. we have a, a quest system. So kind of choose your own narrative in a kind of way. And you're right, combat also has evolved within that mindset. Yeah. Um, we, want, we know there's still players out there and we embrace that as well. And combat plays a, a big part of the game because Bayek, or hero, is in a line of, of warriors and combat was, was really important in that game. But we, give, we wanted to give a lot of flexibility to the player. And this time around, uh, your weapon choice will affect how you fight with enemies because mm -hmm. everything is based on a hitbox system. So your, the length of your weapon, its weight, its size, your positioning with the enemies, all that factors in and really, for, in my opinion, delivers a new uh, combat experience for the game. Okay, uh, you know, let's talk about sort of the world. Obviously, you know, uh, water has been a part of the franchise in the past. That's a part, obviously, of what we're seeing here in Egypt. In terms of kind of new types of gameplay, what can we expect in terms of those new experiences? You know, you guys had swimming one year. I mean, it's, there's always something new. So this year, is there anything that you feel like is a, a trademark new sort of element of gameplay? So creating this big world, like this full country of Egypt, uh, we thought about the means of transportation. Mm -hmm. So you have, the, you have a horse, camels in the game, but also the felucas that you're seeing there. Yeah. Uh, it's a very quick way to go across the lakes and the rivers we have in the game. Mm -hmm. And all the bodies of water, you can dive under and explore for lost treasures and loot and that sort of stuff. So that plays a big part in the game. Mm -hmm. And also na naval combat is back. Uh, uh, in a smaller part as a black flag, but naval combat has its own niche in the game that we'll be able to talk about later on in the campaign. Okay, cool, so naval as well. Tell us a bit about the, the assassin you're playing in this game, who is he? Uh, the assassin is Bayek, Bayek yeah. um, and Bayek is the last Magi, basically. So a Magi is the protector of the old traditions of ancient Egypt, mm -hmm. um, and without going too much into details of the personal story of the character, because I don't want to spoil it for players, yeah. but uh, Bayek uh, is basically at a, a pivotal point where the gods are dying. You know, yeah. the pharaohs, the, li the lines of pharaohs are no more. And he's kind of representing the old values of Egypt with uh, the influence of the Greeks and the Romans in the game. So Bayek is really like this, this, this pivot uh, that represents the old values of Egypt. Okay. Uh, and I'm sure we'll get to you know some famous historical. Uh, you mentioned Cleopatra. There'll be some famous historical characters kind of featuring in the story as well. Yes, Cleopatra is in the game, and uh, obviously it's an Assassin's Creed game, so there are many other historical characters in the game, uh, and we'll be able to uh, talk about it later on. I know it's only just the reveal of the game, right? But it's <laughs> we're just at you E3, you know. There's still a lot of weeks left. I'm sure, but and now this footage we're seeing. This is is this footage just running on uh, Xbox or? It's it's running on Xbox One X actually. Oh, so on X, 4K. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so uh, really a beautiful rendition in 4K of uh, this uh, wonderful world the team uh, across the world have been crafting. Yeah, and I know you you guys were on stage yesterday with Xbox. What are you doing special for Xbox um, on this game? So we have uh, we have a dynamic resolution system, so okay. we can really adapt uh, or uh, rendering based on the, the the power of the console available uh -huh. to us. Uh, so running on Xbox One X, we're really able to leverage the full power of the console and okay. render this beautiful world in 4K. And will you have that on PlayStation as well? It will be shipping on PlayStation 4 mm -hmm. and PlayStation 4 Pro as well. It'll do the dynamic resolution as well? Exactly, yes. Oh, cool. All right. So we'll be able to get... Uh, do you think it's going to be at a higher frame rate on the Xbox One X over the PS4 Pro? Um, at this point in the game, I mean, the, the frame rate is not set. Yeah. Uh, but with the system that we have, we're able to leverage as much power as we can to make sure that we have the best experience possible. So it's possible you would allow it to be a uh, higher frame rate on Xbox if you could get it there, I guess, right? We're, we're aiming to deliver really the best experience on all the platforms. Yeah, we're so max on. it out based on the power exactly, that they yes. have. Well, that's cool. Well, I'm excited to see uh, you know, what you're able to do with uh, the new technology. And I think a lot of us missed Assassins. And uh, you know, it's, it's good sometimes to take a break because <laughs> they miss it that much more and come back. And yeah, I can't wait to see 
you know, with an Assassin's game, there's always a twist and turn and another element. So I can't wait to see what you guys are For doing. Sure. And if you can, you're welcome on the boot. Uh, try it yourself. Try the demo. Uh, it's I'd love to play. Yeah, I know there's an arena demo. And there's lots going on. And you guys will be uh, live at the E3 Coliseum. I know tomorrow uh, the team will be there uh, yes. showing a demonstration of the game as For well. Sure. Fans will stream that live on YouTube. So you can check out the E3 Coliseum live tomorrow as well. All right. Well, thanks very much. Thank uh, you very much. Congratulations on a great couple yes, days for Assassin's Creed Origins.